If you filled up your gas tank lately, you might have been cringing as the cost went up and up and up. Some people who have long commutes to and from work are really feeling the pain. Between the rising gas prices and food costs, they tell LEX 18's Austin Pollock they're planning to make adjustments heading into summer. Some people have tough decisions to make. Be out on the open road or put it in park. This time of year gets busy for Chris Gancio. It, it definitely takes a toll on your wallet when, you know, four months out of the year you're traveling way more and, and now it's, you know, four dollars a gallon. How is this getting to your wallet? Right, so normally um, it would be, my tank would normally cost 50 to 60 dollars to fill up. Um, now it's looking anywhere from 80 to close to 100. You're trying to save up where you have a child or planning a wedding, um, wanting to do a renovation on a house. All those things kind of just end up getting put on hold. Data from Gas Buddy shows the steep increase over the last month. Gancio's fiance is a teacher an hour away in Robertson County. She drives a Prius and still has felt an increase, but her concern is elsewhere. Our grocery bill is probably going to be doubling probably in the next couple months. When Susanna Treese and her fiance think about cost, their minds immediately turn to providing for the light of their lives, their two year old daughter. We're not going to, you know, have as many zoo trips or, um, trips out like we can't have date nights as often. Gancio says he has paid $20 more per gallon in a week's difference. Something that gets costly not just for Bro, business, but uh, also raising I a child. Yesterday I filled up and it was $85. And last week when I filled up, it was $60 to fill it up. So that $20 is just, you know, I mean, that's several gallons of milk. That's, you know, good groceries for the kid, pa pack of diapers, that kind of thing. Therese even says she plans on cutting back coffee trips because money, as we know, certainly adds up. In Lexington, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News.